Let's see, I've got such a long list. All right. I believe it's about uh, 4,502 voters who voted, uh, but who weren't on the voter registration list. We have zero record of anybody doing that because the voter registration cutoff is a voter registration cutoff. Let's just be clear about this. You can't do it. There cannot be a ballot issue to you. There's no way to tie it back to you. There's no way for them to have a name to correspond back to unless they are registered voters. So that number is zero. So dead people voted. 10,315 who died before the election. Again, our information from the Department of Vital Records, we go through county by county, shows potentially two. Two. Two people that were dead that voted. For some reason, they put it in three times each ballot. And I don't know why. So why not five times, right? If there is a problem with the ballot, what it does is it stops. But before that, four or five will get through. So they say delete that last batch and rescan it so they scan properly. That is the normal process that is done. They put them in three times. We did an audit of that and we proved conclusively that they were not scanned three times. That audit showed that there was no problem with the machine scanning. If somebody took a stack of ballots and scanned them multiple times, you would have a lot of votes with no corresponding ballots. When the woman took the, you know, when the whole gang took the stuff out of the, from under the table. You're, you're talking about uh, the State Farm video. Where was everybody else at that late time in the morning? There is videotape of this. 5.23 a.m. They, they walk in and they discover what is essentially a pond on the floor where you can see water coming out of the sky. Why did they say a water main broke? Which they did. They ran out because of a water main break and there was no water main. There was nothing. It was a, um, a urinal that was overflowed because it were turned off because guess what? Nobody's in State Farm because of COVID other than this particular usage. So they turn off all those things and it went over the edge of the relief valve and that's what caused the leak. They say, okay, we can't do our work here this morning. There are monitors in the room. There is press in the room. They take the ballots that have been opened, put them in carrier trays and put them in there and then put them in the boxes, put the lid on because the lid matches the box. They weren't in an official uh, voter box. The carriers, which are normal absentee ballot carriers. And then you see at one point during the video. She ran back in there when everybody was gone and stuffed. She stuffed the ballot boxes, let's face it. A woman crawling on the floor, putting the numbered seals on them so they can keep the chain of custody. If you go to securevoteGA.com, we have posted all the videos from State Farm for that day. Rudy Giuliani or his people, they sliced and diced that video and took it out of context. The president's legal team had the entire tape. They watched the entire tape and then, and from our point of view, intentionally misled the state Senate, voters, and the people of the United States about this. It was intentional, it was obvious, and anybody watching this knows that. Anyone watching it knows that. They're uh, changing the equipment on the, uh, on the Dominion machines. This is what I don't fully understand. No one is changing parts or pieces out of Dominion voting machines. That is, that's, that's not a real, I don't even know what that means. It's not a real thing. Have they moved the inner parts of the machines and replaced them with other parts? No. There were claims about signature matching being not being done. We have at least two or three, anywhere from 250 to 300,000 ballots were dropped mysteriously into the rolls. Much of that had to do with uh, Fulton County. When are you gonna do signature verification on Fulton County? There was a specific allegation the signature verification was not being done on the absentee ballot request form properly in Cobb County during the June primary. Okay, go ahead, please. Cobb go ahead. We chose Cobb County because that was the only county where there's been any evidence submitted that the signature verification was not properly done. So we got GBI to come alongside Secretary of State investigators, multiple teams, 15,118 absentee ballot envelopes that they investigated, they found two with potential problems. Two. We'll find hundreds of thousands of signatures if you let us do it. The thing is, we have certified this election, so there are no more votes to find. What, so what are we going to do here, folks? I only need 11,000 votes. Fellas, I need 11,000 votes. Give me a break. They have sued the state of Georgia and the Secretary of State. We've had several lawsuits, and we've had to respond in court to the lawsuits and the contentions. There are rules of evidence to follow once you do that. Our lawyers have sent their lawyers letters saying, if you want to dismiss your challenge, we're more than happy to share this data with you to show that your data is incorrect and you have in fact lost the state of Georgia. There's no way I lost Georgia. There's no way. We don't agree that you have one. Um, let's see. Secretary Raffensperger does not have a brother named Ron Raffensperger. That is also not real. 